the letter U in two-point perspective. So we're going to draw in a horizon line, dividing the sky from the ground. We're going to use the two farthest edges as our vanishing points. So we're going to create the letter U in our block. This will determine the height of that letter, so I'm going to make it pretty tall. And I'm going to angle the top of that towards the left vanishing point to create my left side of my letter U. And I'm going to use my right vanishing point to create the right side of my block. There we go. That is my hinge that is kicking out. And I think of a U as two vertical rectangles and then a bottom bar. Pretty simple. Create these two verticals by simply drawing in your vertical lines for the right and then the left side. Those are done. And then this horizontal bar, we're going to use our right vanishing point. We don't have any horizontals. They angle away from us towards the right, so we use the right vanishing point. That is done. And then we need to erase. No Frankenstein letters here, so erase those lines that are dividing it up. And there's no space here, so we got to get rid of this portion right there. And I'm already thinking ahead. When I erase, I create a corner this corner that has to angle to the left vanishing point. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check our corners. Well, this line here is this line here. This is our hinge, like a door that's swinging away from us. Top to bottom, top to bottom, we need that entire side. So we can go right in and we can shade that in with a medium value. But now I'm going to put my pencil point on the left vanishing point. I'm going to scan the opposite end of my ruler to see what it runs into. There's a corner. There is, by drawing that in, the side of this. So that's a side. It's simply going to be a medium value. Letter U's are pretty easy because that's all, there are, that's all there is to that one. Except if I want to make it a thin slice. And really, by rights, I could have a back corner already because this looks like it's going back farther than this. Well, let's just make it a thin slice. It will make it um, makes sense. So let's say the U only extends back a little ways. Like that. Well, I want this side to relate. So I'm just going to slide it back approximately maybe that far. Front corner, there's our back corner, and just fill that in. And we would simply erase away the rest of this and the rest of this, and you'd have a thin slice U. And there's the letter U in two-point perspective. Pretty easy.